All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for 2024 action independent film called Gunner. Now here's the plot. War veteran Lee Gunner takes his two sons on a camping trip with their uncle John to re reconnect with them after being at the battlefront for so long. The trip goes awry when John stumbles on a gang of violent bikers in the midst of a mad massive drug operation. The boys try to go for help, but end up right in the arms of Dobbs, the son of Kingpin Kenrick Riker, who runs the organization from prison. An engaged, in, in enraged uh, gunner wrecks havoc to rescue his two sons. Now here's some of the cast. This film was a fun film. Wasn't expecting the Jack Reacher feel to it, though. A lot of the uh, scenes was cool, but has a kind of jazzy score to it and kind of stereotype uh, gangster music, which gave it an odd but fun feel to it. But plenty of shoots, uh, shootouts, martial art fighting, and great camera shooting and angles. However, there was definitely milked. They definitely milked a lot of the slow mo scenes and editing, and not like Zack Snyder, but there was definitely like a where he does it like for a very long time and he does it constant. It's not like that, but if you see this, you you will understand. Is this when he's, for example, he kicks up a gun and it is it, from the time it goes up. He kicks it to the to he grabs it and then shoots it at it's just like a really good amount of minute slow mo or so you know a minute or two and it's really slow so that's pretty much what it is the low budget CGI effects wasn't the greatest and that's saying something uh, but they did also throw in some actual part practical effects especially explosions which was pretty cool. But clearly most of the budget went towards Morgan Freeman, who barely did anything, which makes sense as he's really old, but still that's kind of a waste of money when they do that. Now this movie definitely had some weak spots with some of the dialogue. I'm actually shocked we didn't get any one-liners thrown in as it's that type of action film. You know, as it's so bad, it's actually good type of film. Now here's my writing and you probably won't be surprised, but then I'll come back to my final thoughts. I definitely enjoyed this film for what we got and what it was, but I would say watch it if you're into so bad it's good type of films or B films. Otherwise, I'd probably stay away from it. Um, definitely not a, uh, a film that you pay more than what I paid for. It was about seven, eight bucks, which honestly, for what we got in this, it it was it would be worth that much, um, at least under ten bucks. Um, that's just for rent. Okay, um, but because it's more like in the mid tier area of, of a B film, you know, it has a lot of high good stuff to it, has this kind of questionable stuff to it, and then it has the low CGI to it. And it's just kind of like uh, it, there's a lot of stuff about I liked that made me enjoy it, and even the stuff that was this kind of corny type of overdone. I, it oddly enough, I liked it, so that's why I say it is a a so bad that it's good type of film. Um, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Oh, leave your comments down below. I'm, always, I'm very curious about what comments you guys will make on this one. Um, but uh, yeah, so again, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.